Welcome back to the PSN Command Network. It's your boy Tom K. Tech. We're back on our video. If I get to our glory to God, without God, I will not protect right now. God's open doors and pay away for all you want for people in the doors and pray. Man, today's video, we're here to rap about the Washington Commanders. And today, I'm not going to talk your head off. We need to hire Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson today. Not tomorrow. Not Thursday, not Friday, Friday, not Saturday, Saturday. No, today, today, to this day, today. Here's why we do not want Ben Johnson to go to Seattle. Mike McDonald is a qualified candidate. I think he will do a good job here, but he will have one problem. The revolving door of offensive coordinators. That'll be his problem. It's easier to find a good defensive mind than easier to find an elite offensive mind. I think that Ben Johnson is an elite offensive mind in today's game. It's something that you cannot find often and it's something that you don't want to let go out your office. When we meet with this man today, he needs a contract in his hand. Because if we did hire Mike McDonald, I'm not saying it's a bad hire. It's a good hire. But he will have a huge problem, which is keeping an offensive coordinator. As, as D'Amico Ryan's very, very soon, what will happen if he shall lose Bobby Slowick? Um, ask what happened with Nick Sirianni and after losing Shane Steichen. You see that deep, you see that you seen that Philadelphia offense this year? Lacks balance, it lacks consistency. And Jalen Hurston looked the same. He looked good this year for the most part. He was pretty solid for the most of the year, but he wasn't the guy that earned that $50 million per year contract last year. That's how we giving them elite offensive mind. Your players look a lot better. They just do. You get unicorns like A.J. Brown, but, bro, look at Baker Mayfield next year with Dan, without, without, without Canales. Will he look the same? I doubt it. Well, the Lions, the, the Detroit Lions, they're going to lose Ben Johnson. Either going to lose him to the, the Seattle Seahawks or lose him to the Commanders. He's getting hired by one of these two teams. More than likely Washington, but I'm just giving it the hypothetical if he, we don't. He goes to Seattle. They're not going to let the same offense this year, next, next year. They're not going to let the same offense in the 2024 NFL season they live this year in 2023. They won't. They just won't. Sorry, not sorry. Sorry not to tell you, but the truth is they would not look the same. So they need to hurry up and hire Ben Johnson so we do not have to worry about the revolving door of offensive coordinators. We get a guy that's an already an offensive genius that he's only 37 and he'll get better. It gets better, y'all. It gets better. It gets better, man. Look at Andy Reid. Timeless. Timeless. Went to Philadelphia, went to five NFC championship games, went to went to the Chiefs and won two Super Bowls. Look at him win a third one. Look at Andy Reid. Perfect example of what a great offensive mind would do for you. Bill Belichick might be the GOAT of coaches of all time. He's a defensive mind. But a lot of these offense, Bill Walsh, four Super Bowls. Do I need to say more? Do I need to continue? But you know what Bill Belichick always had, though? Uh, even as a great defensive mind, he had a great offensive coordinator. Charlie Weiss comes to mind. Josh McDaniels comes to mind. Bill O'Brien comes to mind. He's a unicorn. That's why he's the greatest coach of all time. He always fetched a good offensive coordinator to pair it with his quarterback and Tom Brady. Always, always had a good offensive coordinator for Tom Brady. Always. That's that, that's a that's a rare feat to to accomplish in today's game, but you're going to lose your offense accordingly once every year, or every two years. It's hard to do that. It's hard, very difficult. So I'm just saying, man, hiring Ben Johnson saves you that issue and allows your young quarterback to grow and not stunt his growth or development. That's why Brock Purdy, who Brock Purdy is, he has Kyle Shanahan. That's why Jared Goff had an ascension early in his career before he had a little downfall, before he got traded, because he had Sean McVay. Five Sean McVay is a Super Bowl. 
because he's Sean McVay. I'm just saying. And he always kept himself a good defensive coordinator. Why? Because it's easy to get defensive coordinators than offensive coordinators. I said, look at Andy Reid, man. I'm just saying, dog. We need an offensive guy. The guy's Ben Johnson for the job. Commanders, go get it done. Like, comment, subscribe, comment your thoughts. I'll catch you on the next one.